welcome to Crafty Shenanigans. I'm Shannon Smith and today I just want to share something kind of quick and simple with you. I've been using a die set I've mentioned on a, a few of my videos so far and it's one that I'm just having a lot of fun with so I thought I would go ahead and show you a project that mainly focused on that set. So let's just get started. Okay so this is the set that we'll be mostly highlighting today. It's uh, called Funky Festive by Tim Holtz and Sizzix. And I've used this a few times so far on my channel on at least two other cards I can think of right off the top of my head. And we'll go ahead and we'll link those so that you can see. But you can see this is just packed with all kinds of fun little things that you can add to your cards. But today I'm gonna to show you how to assemble all of these cute little elements. And then I'll go ahead and I'll show you a project using the using these little things. Okay, so here we've got our cute little pine cone. And if you have a tool, this is the Bloom tool. This is um, something that FSJ carries or Fun Stampers Journey. Um, Spellbinders also has a similar tool. And it's nice when you have things that are stuck in the little, in the little pockets of your die. It'll just poke right through. But I didn't have to do that too many times with, with this set, which was nice. This was this was the trickiest one, because you can see it's really detailed and there's a whole bunch of little holes. But really, all things considered, it wasn't too, too many. So we'll go ahead and we'll assemble that guy really quick. Super simple. This is craft glue, uh, FSJ carries this. And it's nice because it dries clear. But I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. Okay, so super simple. You can see all the little details come out better and we've got our cute little, we've gotten some depth to our cute little pine cone. So we'll just set that aside. Let's go ahead and do these little berries. So this is what the die looks like. And I will show you again. You can see it cuts all the, all the elements of each little part all in one die. So we've had our cute little berries but it also cut out the other berries and obviously I've cut it out twice because I've got the brown and the red. Okay so let's go ahead and assemble that. Now this one I'm going to use my bloom tool again because it has that little spot in the middle and we want to be able to show the contrasting color. The other tricky thing is just holding on to all these little pieces. I will show you a couple of things that I do. You may have an even better system. And if you do, please share it with me in the comments. Okay, so we're just going to add a little tiny bit of glue here. And I just kind of watched to see where the little opening was. Kind of like that facing the outside. Okay, so there's our cute little berries. Now this little guy is one of my favorites. I love this, just how intricately this is cut. And honestly, this was so easy to pop out because in the design of this, I thought it was pretty clever the way they designed it because, I've got a little piece of tape stuck there, because I didn't even need the bloom tool. It just kind of went right through. I mean, it just, you've got all these lines you don't have to try really hard to get it out. It just comes right out. So we'll just add that little branch to our pine bough. Now let's go ahead and, and well, let me just show you this one. This one doesn't really require any assembly. This one just cuts this little, I think it's another species of pine and I've just got it in two different colors it cuts just one out of course we'll just stick that guy over there this cute little plant I don't know if it's supposed to be eucalyptus or what exactly it's supposed to be but I really think it's cute All 
All right, and then lastly, this one's the most labor intensive, I guess. This is our poinsettia. And you can see all of the little pieces. These guys are very tiny. But honestly, I didn't find that I needed all of them. I only used three of them, but we'll just stick them all over here. Um, and I'll probably only put three on, on this one as well, but you can use all of them if you want more. And I'm just gonna take my crease tool and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of dimension ahead of time. Just give it a little more movement. We want our poinsettia to be a little more lively, so we'll go ahead and take care of that right now. And we'll just do each of the layers the same way. And the way you do it, excuse me, I gotta get my geography down here, is just to to um, push against push against your crease tool and use your thumb, kind of like curling ribbon. Super simple. And we'll do the same thing with all of the layers. Okay, so here's our little bit trickier part, but we're just gonna, just gonna add a little tiny bit of the glue. And again, I'm just gonna use the end of my, I've got this little attachment. The bloom tool has attachments. I guess I could have gone over that. Um, that come with it. It's got like a little, um, almost like a dental hook. And then it's got, I don't know if you can see this really well, but it's got just a little bit of a ball on the end. And there's actually, I, um, let me see if I've got them in here. I don't usually keep them in there. No, there's one that has a bigger ball so that you can use that to kind of, um, do dry emboss or to shape your flowers. And then there's one that's just pointy, that's great for paper piercing. And then I think there's one that's like got a little plastic spatula on it, but I, I haven't really used that one, so I don't really think about it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use, I might even, I'm just gonna put a tiny, 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 tiny bit of glue, just enough to make it sticky enough to come up because these pieces are super tiny. Now we will just start layering this guy up. Just kind of layer it how you like the, your petals to line up. I don't think there's really a right or wrong. But I just kind of like to look and see where I think it needs a little filler. I guess there's a wrong if you put the layers on wrong, but as far as how you place them on each other within that order, you're probably okay. Got our last crowning jewel here. Isn't that cute? I think that's such a pretty little flower. So I'm just gonna, so here's the card I made. And I actually haven't even finished it as a card because I thought I would show you that this would be a really cute tag. Just poke a hole in there and you could just put a gift on the, or put it on a gift and that would be super cute. But also, um, you could just score a little line here and then above the score line, you would just glue it together and you would have just a cute little shaped card. Just really fun, really easy. Um, I did use, I'll show you a few of the things I used. This is actually Queen and Company and right now they've got this on special. I got it for five bucks. Can't get much better than that. And I just, obviously I didn't use the, the bottom. I just used the circle die and I just cut it um, twice. I used, this is just a cute piece from, I think it's from 
guess. It's just from Open Stock Paper at Hobby Lobby. I think it's their paper studio brand. And then, um, so that's just what our background is. Really cute, really fun. And then the back of the card, the card base is actually from the Journey Scallop uh, die set. And so I just used the biggest one of those. And it fits really nicely with this. And actually it fits in nicely with their circles. It's a different size than some of the other ones. So it works. Okay, so this little sentiment here, I cut out on my Cricut. And it's actually uh, from, if you look under the, the cartridges, it's under Winter Frolic. And so I cut that out. It's got the cute little shadow you can cut with it. And then I just went ahead and added some Journey Glaze, which is just a fun, just kind of nice way to finish off your projects. It does take a little bit to dry, so be careful. I also don't put it on until the very last because it's so easy to put your fingers in it. Um, I added it to the little eucalyptus plant and to the berries. And then there's a little bit here in the center of the poinsettia. And then I just sprinkled a little bit of glitter on that. So really fun. I think that this is a fun project and I think it will carry you far. The set is really versatile. You can use it for tags. You can use it for, I mean, you could go around and make a whole wreath. You could use as many of the elements here or as few as you want and get a darling project. Like I said, I've used it at least three times this year. So this is a great way to buy yourself a little something if you're not, you know, if you want to get some good bang for your buck, and I know it's hard to buy things for ourselves at Christmas time, but that's why I think this is such a great value. Plus, if you look at it, this will take you way past Christmas. Look at all of these little elements. You could do all kinds of things with them just by switching up the colors. So there are my two cents on that. I love this set. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that maybe you got some new ideas. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Also, if you click the little bell, then you can get notifications when new videos are uploaded, which is generally two times a week. I try to do it on Wednesdays and Fridays. There is a little variation sometimes. And I also would love for you to leave any kind of comment on any suggestions of content you would like to see going forward. And just, you know what, just say hi. Just tell me what you're up to. Tell me what you're crafting. And thank you so much. I will see you next time.